Our guest at Climate One today is California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're discussing energy and climate change. We have a group of uh, fourth graders in the audience today, and one of them writes, what do you say to your kids about climate change? You talked about future generations, but how about your kids? What do you say to them? Well, first of all, I've had major fights with my kids. <laughs> I come from Europe, and my mother, well, first of all, I was not in a house where we had um, running water. So we had an outhouse, and we had a kind of a system where we carried the water from 200 yards away from a well to our house upstairs to the second floor where we lived. And, um, and then my father would wash himself first, and then my mother would wash herself, and then my brother would wash himself with the same water, and then I would wash myself when it was all dirty, because I was the youngest. So that's how I grew up, because conservation was big in Europe, and especially since I grew up after the Second World War. There was no food, there was little electricity, there were blackouts left and right, there was nothing after the war was worse than during the war. So we had absolutely nothing. So that's how I grew up. So it's natural when we were taught to always switch off the light when you go and leave the room. And that you can only use water sparingly or to drink. That's it, not to waste any water, period. So it's a totally different atmosphere. So now my kids go to the shower in the morning and they have a stool that they put in a shower. And then they sit in the shower like this. And I'm standing outside and I'm timing it now. And I said to myself, this is now 15 minutes that this kid is taking a shower. So I open up the, the, the shower door and I turn off the hot water. And then all of a sudden, you know, he starts screaming because now the water is cold. So I finally had to implement rules at home and tell them that if they take showers that are longer than five minutes, that there will be consequences. Like where they will not be able to go out where they would not be able to bring friends over, and on and on and on. And so these rules that we have, like the, the kind of European rules a little bit, like we have to always make our own bed, so they make their own bed. They have to, wash, they have to all wash their own clothes. They have to all go and wash them together so there's not one with three socks washing the clothes and then <laughs> using up all this water. So they all have to fill up the washing machine and share the washing machine. And they have to take a limited amount of showers, and I will sometimes spy on them when it comes to the showers and time <laughs> with them. And I told them if I catch them, there will be a thing, a, 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 something built in that I have from Europe, which only allows you to take a shower for five minutes and then it turns off automatically, <laughs> which they have in Europe in gymnasiums, so you don't take a shower for the long. So those are the kind of things that, that we do. And I, I teach them also, we, for instance, in our house have installed solar panels on a hill so that powers all of the swimming pool, which uses the most energy always in the jacuzzi. Uh, we have, for instance, changed our hummus uh, from regular uh, engines to hydrogen engines or to biofuel engines. So they see all of those things. So we are teaching them that you've got to be conscious all the time about what to do and also about recycling how we handle the recycling. So they're very much involved in all of those things because I think what we tell our kids and how we teach our kids is extremely important because this is the next generation. I'm just looking out to look at the children to see if they got a little more than they might have bargained for on that one. <laughs> and the parents, parents too, some ideas. Uh,